it's time for... The Ultimate Virtual Reality Gaming Machine. Ah, uh, Jason Snell, you know what we're up to here. This is so exciting. We are building a spare, mostly no expense. I mean, it's not going to be like, a, you know, on wheels. Uh, <laughs> ultimate virtual reality gaming machine, because we're planning for the Oculus Rift to arrive, I think, May. I don't know. I think that's what they told me. I got two on order. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan Shroud is helping us do, uh, do this from PC perspective. And, of course, Ryan's been the king of this all along with his hardware leaderboard. You've been doing that. How long have you been doing that, Ryan? Oh, man, it's got to be like eight years. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I know it's long enough because I haven't built a PC in a while. But when I built PCs, I would always go to the hardware leaderboard to figure out which processor, which motherboard. Well, we've done the motherboard. As you know, we got this great Asus uh, Z170 series motherboard. I've already mounted the uh, Intel Core i7 CPU in it, the unlocked 6700K. But the next most important component, actually one might argue the most, most. important, yeah, for an ultimate yeah. gaming machine, a VR machine, is the GPU. Now this one threw up a little conundrum for us, Ryan. Were, would it be smart, since we know that NVIDIA is coming out with a new platform, the Pascal platform, in June, right. to cheap out and buy just the minimum GPU, expecting to swap it out for Pascal. What do we know about Pascal? Uh, we don't know. I mean, what we know about Pascal is that it's going to use a new memory architecture called HBM, high bandwidth memory, um, at least some uh, versions of it, probably the higher end versions of it. It's, it's similar to what, uh, if you look at the AMD Fury X and Fury cards that ship today, they use HBM generation one. Uh, and it's kind of, it, it, it improves uh, bandwidth considerably. Uh, it lowers power requirements considerably, but it's limited in that uh, the implementation only allows you to go up to four gigabytes of memory on the graphics card. Uh, HBM2, I think, increases that to 16 or 32 gigs, so it gives you a little bit of headroom to move forward uh, a couple of generations with that. Um, and so Pascal will be out probably middle of this year. That's the problem. Uh, we don't know when. <laughs> yeah, and it's also, it, it's possible that maybe only the mobile version comes out right. uh, first, right? And we also have the same thing with on the AMD side. The AMD Polaris architecture is the name of their upcoming architecture. They've talked about it being a Q2 part as well. But again, well, the only thing I have seen demoed and know about for that architecture is kind of a mid-range, high-end mobile gaming parts. Uh, we don't really have info on the, on the so kind you, of flat. You, you talked me to not waiting. That's usually my argument. Um, I, I know it's different for everybody, right? Um, in PC building, if you want to, you can always wait. Right. And so then you get into this pattern of never buying a product. <laughs> right. Never buying the best product that you can afford so, at the time. You're like, oh, I'll save a little bit of money and, and wait a little bit. The minimum uh, requirement, uh, according to uh, Oculus, is a 970. Right. Um, do you feel like that's not enough? It's really hard for me to say for sure yet because we don't know what the games are. Right. Well, we know two, Eve Valkyrie. Yeah. And uh, some kids game, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> and You know what? I Here's, okay, I didn't tell you this, but now I'm going to tell you what the real criterion <laughs> is. When the last Ultimate Gaming Machine we built, which was almost 10 years ago, Colleen built us one, we wanted to be able to run Crisis at everything maxed out. I want, I'm thinking... I don't know, I have no inside information, that No Man's Sky will be a VR, mm. an Oculus VR title. It looks so awesome. This is the one where yeah. there's 19 billion yeah, it's unique Yeah, procedurally worlds. generated worlds, yeah. If you know, so every world is unique, has different flora and fauna, and you get to explore it. It looks incredible. And it's very much a look around <laughs> kind of a game. What a perfect game for VR. So right. I'm gonna just put a flag in the sand and say, we wanna run No Man's Sky. Okay. I, I mean, I honestly don't know what the graphical requirements are going to be. It looks really good. Uh, I don't know how much of that is stylized versus how much of it is kind of really, uh, like, technically right, difficult right. stuff to do on the GPU. It doesn't look that hard, does it? It looks, yeah, um, it looks it, a little stylized. It does look stylized, but there is a significant draw distance, right? right. So you can see very far. Um, That's a but, lot of voxels, in other words. Yeah, it yeah. could be. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, is this the top of the line currently available? This we we're, we decided to go with a Nvidia GeForce GTX 980, and we're getting the titanium version. So this is yeah the uh, the 980 Ti is is the highest end single GPU purchase you can make. Why right not now. SLI? Why not dual GPU? That's also an interesting discussion, um, and I, I caution against it because I don't yet know what the multi GPU scenario is going to be for VR. Right. Um, it it will work differently than how SLI and Crossfire work today. Yeah. Uh, it's possible that you'll see one GPU per eye, and uh, it will be mapped very easily. Um, however, I there will be the possibility of some complications with that, where the memory systems need to communicate faster um, between them than is currently enabled, and you get into a whole different argument when you get into DirectX 12, okay. which I think we'll see a lot of VR games kind of moving towards later in the year. So we're almost, we're almost saying this is the best card that we know will work properly with the Oculus. Yeah, what I didn't want to do was recommend buying two cards and, and then when the VR games start to come out in right. the middle of this year, see that a lot of them aren't taking advantage of the second GPU There's at no all. There's no reason we couldn't buy a second one of these. No, yeah, absolutely. The, the right. motherboard, the system, everything we've picked will support a second card. Now, um, why did we get Asus? So NVIDIA is a fabulous uh, uh, designer. They design a chip and then they, other people make them. So you can, right. get, you can get NVIDIA uh, cards from a lot of people. Why Asus? It's the same company as the motherboard. Is it there, is. Is, that it. For, is there a reason? Uh, I mean, I don't think you, you don't necessarily need to pair your motherboard with your graphics card or anything like that. I liked this particular card um, because the way GPU vendors differentiate now, the way graphics card vendors differentiate now is when you get into the cooler uh, and the design styling of it, right? So this has very big cooler on it. It's going to have a lot of heat pipes. Uh, it's got a triple fan design. It is meant to uh, run very quietly. The logo on that box is an owl which is to signify <laughs> the fact that it uh, uh, runs quietly. Oh. And that's what the brand, the Strix brand from Asus generally ta uh, refers to. These are our coolers that operate um, with the kind of lowest sound ah, levels. So this is yeah. a Strix car. You yeah. also usually play games at night, so that's good for owls. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah, the vision will help. I didn't really vision. catch on the fact that the owl meant it was a cool card. <laughs> well, right. you know. Or quiet card. All right, here we go. So... Um, I'm opening her up. I'm going to let you put it oh, in, yeah. Jason. This Have you ever built part. a PC? I know you're a Mac guy. I, well, this is the, oh, I was going to say. The, on the Mac side, Apple now has gotten to the point where you can't choose you can't anything. anything. About not even the Mac Pro this is, is not, really a... Uh, can, I used to install... Yeah, back when I had a power, when I had a, one of my old Power Mac G5 right. and G4, I installed video cards in those, but it's been a long time. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let you... Oh, oh gosh. Man. I'm, I'm going to ruin your... This How is much the best this? part. This is the best part of technology right here. <laughs> right taking, here. Taking a, a, a big board out of a box. Holy cow, is this thing huge. Is that all heat sink, Ryan? Yep. Oh, oh my God. Three yeah, fans. It's like bigger than the computer. You get triple fan. You can see, like, the giant heat pipe along the bottom uh, of the card there oh. as well. You've got several of them. That helps distribute the heat from the GPU out to all the fins on the sides. Um, the, the fans, like I said, they... Three of them means they can rotate slower, get enough airflow for you. Wow, look at uh, that. You've got a huge That's back. That's like a 58 Chevy. That is a hot rod. Right that, there. that is look a V8. Yeah. Holy uh, the God. back plate on it is nice. It helps protect the components on the back, which in a lot of times yeah. is kind of like the first thing to somebody will accidentally nick off of uh, uh, off of their hardware. And then that red thing in the middle they call a uh, uh, GPU fortifier. <laughs> and there's some a reinforcement frame on there. It's basically meant because the card is so big and heavy, when you install it in the system, uh, it keeps the PCB from flexing at all, oh, right, around. So This is a damn sexy beast. Let me yeah. take the uh, protector off the... Uh, and this is PCI Express? Yep, yep. All PCI Express, by 16 3.0. Um, you know, everything has been like that. Where You've got I, your SLI connections on the top. Here, if you do decide to add in a second. You figure out where it goes, Jason. <laughs> where the hell does it go? Yeah, well, it's, it's got to be one of top, these. Top PCI Express slot, the this one closest one right here. to the CPU. No, oh, one this to one's the, the top one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Nope. So let me put that, pull that back so you can lock it in. And then the back plane is this way, so you're going to yep. put it back plane that way. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Have oh man, guy this thing is huge. Guard. This thing. It's not, you know it's not really going to. It's not really going to fit in the board no. because the sitting is sitting flat. Well, get, and that's, that's basically the placement. Close for enough it. because we're going to have to take it out before to right. put this all in the sure, case. Sure, in the case. Is the case next? Yes. And we have some special stuff with the case. We didn't pick just yeah. some off the shelf 
cheap Taiwanese clone wow. case. We got a good one. This thing has Ryan, just dwarfs the motherboard. It's amazing. <laughs> it actually looks like there's more going on in the GPU, which is probably the case. Yeah, it's, it's uh, actually. Fans. Ryan Shrout, PCPer.com, PC Perspective, and the host of This Week in Computer Hardware on Thursdays on Twit. Uh, thank you for helping us build the ultimate VR gaming machine. Absolutely. <sighs> I don't even care. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. Thank you, Ryan. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Thanks.